Well, you guys, just like you might expect a seven-year-old who can't hold in all the excitement, Drew Sickler fell to the floor when he heard the news because he had no idea that he'd won. Seven-year-old Drew Sigler's having the best day of his life. I'm very, 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 very happy. He just found out that he's won big, a week-long trip to the Bart Lazy J Guest Ranch in Colorado, a prize that Drew put himself in the running for months earlier when he sat down to write this. Doing the will of God is like food to Jesus because it makes him so happy. It took Drew just about an hour to write the two-page essay answering the question how doing the will of God is like food for Jesus. He and his mom found out about the contest in a Christian kids magazine and his answer was picked out of thousands of entries across the country. I didn't have a particular, I did not believe that we would actually win a national contest. It just encourages me that, you know, my own child can you know, can write something like that. It just makes me very proud. Parents Wes and Amy discovered Drew had won first and then had to keep it a secret until this morning. That's when, surrounded by family and friends, Drew heard the news himself, straight from the owner of the Dude Ranch. I've got some good news for you, Drew, because uh, uh, you just won the trip. And he's not the only winner. His parents and sister are also going along for the trip in late August. For horse lover Drew, there's a lot to look forward to, except the waiting. I just can't wait. Can we go? Can we go? A gift for art has brought something pretty wonderful to an 11-year-old, Riley Hannigan of Avon. It also seemed natural for Riley to enter an art contest her mom found out about on a website called kidstalkaboutgod.org. The middle man is Jesus, and he's <clears throat> walking into town, and there were two men following him. And this is where he turns around. He noticed that the two men are following him. And they ask, down here, Rabbi, where are you going? And he says, come and you will see. Oh. And those two people became his, one of his first disciples. Riley sent the picture in. I prayed a lot every night that I would win. <laughs> and guess what? As she learned in a phone call today, she did. We selected your wonderful art for publication in the Kids Tell Me Bible, Gospel of John. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Because she won, Riley and her whole family get to spend a week at a ranch in Wyoming called the Medicine Bow Lodge. Okay, this is going to be quick, so stay with me here. A syndicated newspaper columnist named Carrie Consolving founded the Children's International Arts Festival, giving kids around the world a chance to creatively express themselves and their faith. That brings us to KNL Canada, where nine-year-old Alyssa Andrus entered the contest. That's Alyssa learning she won. You have won a trip to the Bar Lazy J Guest Ranch in Marshall, Colorado. <sighs> that's Alyssa on TV. That's her proud family, and that's her pack for a dude ranch vacation. Pretty cool, huh? That brings us to the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. Wow. And one gorgeous spring week at the Bar Lazy J. Now this is what I call a four-star bunk, right on the river. Cabins are beautiful. Wow, this is a neat place. <laughs> horses everywhere. Did someone say horses? I do believe this is cowboy country. Somewhere in that thundering herd of hooves is our new best friend. I'm going to meet my horse. Let's go! <laughs> the Wranglers picked out the perfect horse for everyone. Just the right size. Yeah. I don't. It's, she's just a <laughs> sweetheart. This is uh, Chinook. They say horse kisses are good luck. Pucker up, cameraman. Back in the saddle again. Well, there's nothing quite like an early morning ride through the sage Russian wildflowers, braving the cold, swift waters of the mighty Colorado River. 
for the heartiest breakfast this side of the Continental Divide. Mmm, -mm. that was good. Try the sourdough biscuits, homemade. Homemade strawberry jelly. Well, we were sitting at the uh, dinner table and uh, Joshua leans over to me and he says, Dad, this is, am I dreaming or are we really here? And uh, so I looked over at him and I said, well, Josh, you pinch yourself and if it hurts, then we're really here. And then it's time to relax with a little mutton bustin' at the Flying Hills Arena. The Bar Lazy J kids took first and second place. Why award Dude Ranch Vacations? Well, the answer should be obvious after seeing the previous video, but we have three main reasons why we like Dude Ranch Vacations. One is that it's a dream vacation. It's the kind of vacation that most families dream about but really can't afford. One of our vacation winners had a room in her basement called the Philly Friends Lodge. Although the room was decorated with horses, she had never ridden a horse. The second reason we like is family time. Most Dude Ranches don't have cell phones at work, there's no TVs, no video games, no isolating activities. Families spend time together writing and enjoying the wonders of God's creation. And the third reason we like Dude Ranch Vacations is that when combined with a surprise announcement, a Dude Ranch Vacation is a large enough prize, an unusual enough prize, to generate media news coverage. And of course, this is very, very good for sponsors. All winning art and writing from festival winners has been published in the Kids Tell Me Bible, Gospel of John. 22 chapters covering from John 1 1 through John 5 18 have already been published, with more than 100 planned. To see the Kids Economy Bible Gospel of John book, please visit kidstalkaboutgod.org. All chapters are available for free viewing and downloading. Kids Talk About God averages more than 1,500 unique visitors a day, with about 40% of those visitors coming from foreign countries. Many Sunday school teachers, homeschool parents, and those who simply can't afford Christian books rely on quality free material from kidstalkaboutgod.org. Let's look at some winning art in writing. The new focus for the Children's International Arts Festival is Heaven. We plan to publish an online Heaven book for the children and sponsors in each city or media market where a Children's International Arts Festival is held. Children answer and illustrate one or more of five questions about Heaven. Each two-page image of the book will feature the name or names of major sponsors and the name of the sponsoring Dude Ranch. Other sponsors will be featured on the web page in the space below the online book. To read what Kids Talk About God believes about going to heaven, please visit the Statement of Faith at kidstalkaboutgod.org slash SOF. These beliefs will be reflected in all Kids Talk About Heaven online books. Our detailed marketing plan for the Children's International Arts Festival includes promotional business cards, posters, and postcards that will be mailed to churches and Christian schools. Our goal is for as many children as possible to participate in any given city or media market. We plan to create a web page for each online arts festival that will contain the following. The name of the festival city, such in kidstalkaboutgod.org slash city name, whatever it is. The festival guidelines. A release form for parents to sign so that we can have permission to publish their writing or art. And of course, sponsor logos and names. Some of the other promotional activities 
include producing 30-second public service announcements that will be produced and sent to television stations. We'll also produce 30-second radio public service announcements and send them to Christian radio stations. And of course, we'll send press releases with photos of children's artwork to newspaper editors. Primary sponsors will be mentioned in all the public service announcements and the press releases. Now for the exciting part, the surprise announcement to the Child Festival winner. The primary sponsor can make the surprise announcement. The primary sponsor can also deliver a check for up to $1,000 to cover travel expenses. If for some reason a primary sponsor does not want to be the face of the Children's International Arts Festival in his or her community, Kerry Kinsolving can make the surprise phone call as he has in the past. So far, we've had Children's International Arts Festival winners from the U.S. and Canada. We would like to open the festival to children from Australia and New Zealand as well. If you live in the U.S., Canada, Australia, or New Zealand and would like to participate in a festival or help sponsor one, please call us in the U.S. at 956-772-1920 or send an email to lisa, L-I-S-A, at kidstalkaboutgod.org. For most cities or media markets, a festival can be sponsored for as little as $7,500 U.S. A detailed marketing plan that explains the benefits of gold, silver, and bronze level sponsorship is available upon request. If you're seeing this presentation on the KidsTalkAboutGod.org website, you'll find the marketing plan on this webpage. Whether you're an individual donor, a professional, a business owner, or a pastor, this could be the best kingdom investment you've ever made.